ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of you will probably be watching this. I wouldn't be surprised, considering how small my channel is. But if you are watching this, and you read the title, this is true. On March 1st, the creator of Dragon Ball, <clears throat> one of, if not the most influential anime, no, pieces of media ever, Akira Toriyama passed away. The official statement from the Dragon Ball official Twitter account says, Dear friends and partners, We are deeply saddened to inform you that manga creator Akira Toriyama passed away on March 1st. Due to acute subdural hematoma, he was in the age of 68. That is all I am going to read because that is all most of you care about. Before I found out about this, I was just playing with my friends. I was playing Helldivers 2. And then my phone starts blowing up. It's notification after notification after notification. So I go look, and I see I see Dato Doya and his tweet said he was paying respects to Akira Toriyama. So I get curious. I go, what is he talking about? So, I go on Twitter, and I see the official statement. I didn't want to believe it at first. I <laughs> still don't want to believe it now. Because Dragon Ball is one of those pieces of media that raised so many of us. Raised the pre or the prior generation, this generation, and it will raise the new generation as well, hopefully. And it is one of those animes that's always brought up in conversation. Every know everyone knows who Goku is. People know Vegeta. As you can see, I have Dragon Ball merch, like, pretty much all over. I have Vegeta, I have Gohan, I have a fucking, I have fucking Goku right here, right? My fucking, his, his stand fell off. I have, fucking, my controllers have Dragon Ball skins. This is Vegeta, right? I have another one. This is Vegito, the fusion of Goku and Vegeta. My PlayStation itself. This, this, this is this is this is Vegeta and all of his forms, right? And then on the other side, it's Vegito, right? <laughs> I have a Broly statue right here. It's more like a figure, right? And when it comes to like my second favorite anime, Naruto, I only have this, who was given to me by a friend. This, who was given to me by a friend, and this, who was given to me by my partner. Everything else that I have in Naruto, that, everything else that I have for Dragon Ball, I bought myself. This hoodie, I bought myself. <laughs> because, to, to me, Dragon Ball is just more than a piece of media. It's part of my life. And to so many others. And... We won't have anything f new from the creator. <laughs> so many memories. So many lessons. So many good fight scenes. <laughs> Gohan. 
was my favorite character when I was a kid because I related to him in the fact that he didn't want to fight, but he would fight for the right of the people, right? His anger was explosive, and that made him the strongest warrior in the group. Vegeta, I relate to now because of his prideful nature and his love for his, like, family. Goku, everyone knows Goku. Everyone relates to Goku. <laughs> Whether it be you just want to do your own thing or you just want to fight people, uh, do it in a safe environment. <laughs> but everyone remembers when he first went Super Saiyan. Everyone remembers when he sacrificed himself and could sell. Everyone remembers when he first went Super Saiyan 3. Everyone remembers Goku. And now, the creator of, of these characters will only be a memory. And And we're just supposed to be okay with that? Like... So many... So many things this man has influenced. So many parts that this man has touched. And he doesn't even know. Did he even know? <sighs> Akira Toriyama will go down in history he will transcend history he is and he will be and he was the greatest mangaka to ever exist and if you somehow somehow managed to make it this far all I ask is that you pay your respects and if you know if you don't do it in this video that helps me as well just write hashtag rest in peace r.i.p whichever Akira Toriyama and if you made it this far thank you for listening and remember to lift your fullest because you never know what happens you never know what life throws at you and you never know when your day might be the last <sighs>